Oh. I wish this could be recorded. I wish this could be recorded on both of my cameras. I caught two fish at the same time. <laughs> I've never seen this before. I mean, I did catch this once before on the Great Miami. Um, I had it, but I've never had it uh, in this place where I caught two of them at the exact same time. But uh, I, I'm not going to pick it up because I don't want to don't want to hurt the fish any more than it's necessary. One hook is by the eye, but. Um, Let me see if I can get it out without hurting. Maybe if I get the other one first. Well, I'll bring you back when I get this done. I don't want to waste a lot of film trying to get this out while you watch. All right, there we go. Um, took me a moment to get everything together, but you're not going to believe this. I went fishing, cast my whopper plopper, and uh, caught two bass at the same time. Two largemouth bass. So I'm going to show you the first one. I'm getting it out now, but there's the first one I caught probably roughly around 12 inches so what a beautiful fish so I'm really excited about that 12 inch uh, bass there and uh, if he wasn't big enough you know and of course I'm pleased with catching that I caught this one literally <laughs> all together I caught this big boy this one's probably right around uh, I'd say maybe about 15 inches maybe 15 and a half but yeah caught these two boys or girls, maybe boy and a girl, I'm not sure, but caught these guys together on my whopper plopper. One bit the top, one bit the bottom, um, part of the lure. But yeah, really cool. I just, I love when something like that happens. So that's a twofer. So I'm gonna let these guys go, let them get bigger, let them get back to their spot. All right, so we'll let the little guy go first. And let the girl go. All right, that was fun. Now, one of the things I want to share with you is that when you go fishing and you have an experience like I just had where you just caught two fish on uh, at one time, do make sure you go and look at your lure. Make sure there's nothing wrong with the hooks or nothing's bent up and not working properly. And then also check your line. You want to make sure that there's no frays or any other kind of thing like that because the last thing you want is to have another uh, beautiful large bass or musky or pike or something hit and then have your line where it has a weak spot and then in that weak spot literally it snaps and you lose it if uh you recall um in one of my recent videos i think it might have been my last video um i used my whopper plopper had a monster fish hit at bass and unfortunately i wasn't recording so you couldn't see it but i lost the fish i lost the um whopper plopper because it didn't have strong line there was a fray there was something wrong with it the line was weak up to 20 feet into my thing i could literally manually hold it and snap it um, just by grabbing it so i replaced it i was good after that had no issue so always check your line make sure your line is not going to break um, always make sure your lures are in proper working order because you never want to lose a fish there's no worse feeling than catching that big dream fish that you want and then losing it well i just tested my line pretty good made sure everything was right on it and okay and it is so i'm going to head back out and see if i can catch some more fish so let's go see friends be sure to like comment and subscribe and do share with your friends have a blessed day